All right, so I'm in reason six right now. This is basically just a continuation of the previous video on overall workflow and accommodating different drums and instruments and keeping everything organized. This right here will deal only with a Kong element that can be added to that workflow so all that stuff still applies. All right, uh, what I'm gonna do is have a re-drum that triggers the Kong and then the Kong will be routed to a localized mixer in the rack which will then go to uh, the final mixer that Reason creates by default up top. Um, that's just one way to do it. That's the way I prefer to, to work. Um, I like to have localized um, sort of sub mixes um, that then go to my final mixer. And when I'm in my final mixer, I like to deal with um, groups of things. I like to mix groups of things against each other. Um, I don't like to have 16 individual Kong drums in my final mixer plus a bunch of other stuff. Um, and I also don't like to have, especially if I'm dealing with uh, more than one Kong or more than one you know, type of drum machine. Um, and I also don't like to have tons of uh, channel mixer devices in the rack unless I really have to. And you know, I'll do that if I want to control something in a very specific way um, with respect to the other things that you can do with, this mix with the final mixer. Um, all right. Basically, I'll get this out of the way first. Get these out of the way. All right, right click, other, mixer. All right, then I'm going to put some effects on that as before. Doesn't matter what they are for now, for the sake of demo. Minimize those. Hold shift, right click, instruments, Kong. All right, so I want. Um, each Kong pad to go to each channel of the mixer, right? So what I'm going to do first is I'll take this left main output and go to the first channel and I'll take the second one and go to the second channel. All right, And this left output is going to be for the first pad and the right output is going to be for the second pad. All right, When I flip over and hit the buttons I can see that these are going to the mixer. The problem is that they're going out in stereo. All right, And the way to fix that is you select your first pad Pan it to the left, select your second pad, pan it to the right. So now the first pad is only going through the first channel, and the second pad is only going through the second channel. Right? So I want to do the same thing for all the other pads. Um, so I'll take three, pan it to the left, four, pan it to the right. Um, but I want to make sure um, that the drum output for the other ones. Um, are going to the right place. So, so, so I'm dealing with three and four here. So down here I want the output to go out three and four. All right. And you also want to make sure that your drum assignments um, are not doing anything crazy. Um, make sure that they're not triggering other pads. Uh, so let's switch that one over. This one should be eight. Yeah, make sure each pad is only controlling itself. All right, so I'm on three and four. The output for three is three and four. The output for four should also be three and four. Let's load a sound. All right, and make sure three is panned to the left, four is panned to the right. Now let's check it. Oh, flip it over. We want, uh, let's see, we want number three going to three. We want four going to four. There we go. And I'll do one more. Let's see, we'll take five. Make sure it's outputting to five and six. Six, make sure it's outputting to five and six. You want to take five, pan it to the left, take six, pan it to the right, flip it over. If you hold shift, it will take only uh, one of these. So we want to take number five, go into channel five, take number six, go into channel six. Flip over, check it out. Perfect. I'm not going to do it for the other ones. All right. Let's go ahead and shrink this. All right, so what I want to do next is hold shift, right click, grab a redrum. All right, so I want channel one of the redrum to be controlling uh, the first pad, channel two to be controlling the second pad, and so on. Um, first, I'm going to right click here. I'm going to go ahead and initialize patch just to make sure we don't hear any of these redrum sounds. Flip over. I'm going to go from the gate out. 
of uh, channel 1 to the gate in of pad 1. We're going to go from the gate out of 2 to the gate in of 2 and so on. Then when I flip over and start programming this thing, I can see that the uh, that the redrum is triggering each of these pads. All right. entire thing oh, you want to name your stuff all right and this entire thing is going into the final mixer Kong mixer all right that's it